home instead on Stray FM's Health and Wellbeing Show. It seems to be awards season for the care industry, or at least it certainly is for home instead. Providing home care for elderly residents in the Harrogate, Ripon and Thirsk area, the team at Home Instead have recently won two prestigious awards. One is a living wage accreditation showing their commitment to good pay and treatment of their staff. And the other is to have been rated in the top 10 list for homecare.co.uk for the second year running, which is based entirely on customer reviews. Andrew and Sheena Van Paris, who run Home Instead for Harrogate, Ripon and Thirsk, came into Stray FM to talk to me about what they value most and how they achieve it. Well, the most important thing is our staff. Uh-huh. We're only as good as the people that we employ at the end of the day. So our focus is very much on recruiting and retaining the very best people that we can. Looking after them, isn't it? That's so important. Because some of our members of staff have never worked in care before, so it's a whole new ball game for them. Um, so it's very much about giving them confidence and making them understand that what they're doing is a really important job. They're making a difference and they are rewarded for that as well. How do you do that? Because being happy in your job is one of the main mm. reasons you would stay and give it your all, isn't it? Absolutely. The, the first thing is to make sure that we recruit people who are doing it for the right reasons. So it's not just a job. We're looking for people who have a caring and compassionate nature and a need to support other people. If they're enjoying the, the job, they're going to give more of themselves and that's going to translate into good quality care. I know that an issue sometimes has been with the care industry is that there's a lot to do and often it doesn't pay particularly well. Mm. Is that something that you are ever faced with, that problem? Yeah, I mean, that observation about the industry is, is, you know, fairly accurate. Mm. What we're really pleased with, though, is we've worked very hard to try and make working at home instead something that is worthwhile. Uh, and rewarding as well. Attractive as well. We see it as a career. You know, our our office staff were all previously caregivers. So, you know, we see it as a career path as well. But, you know, as as going back to what Andrew was saying, you know, to make it attractive, then we have to pay well. And we are very proud, actually, because we've just been accredited by the Living Wage Foundation. I've seen the award. Yeah, and I've got the award here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're allowed to use this logo on all our uh, correspondence, but it's very much about us being accredited because we're paying above and beyond the actual living wage uh, minimum, which Yeah, because is... minimum wage and living wage are two different they things. They are, yeah. Mm. And the, the government sets a, a minimum wage, which they've also now calling the living wage, just to add to the confusion. But the Living Wage Foundation has set a living wage which is significantly higher than the government minimum Mm. because that is what they believe people need to earn in order to have a basic standard of living. Mm. Which, Um, of course, you would want your staff to have, at least, wouldn't you? Absolutely. For us, it's really important that people receive a decent day's pay for a hard day's work. I know as well sometimes there's been issues with you can you can pay an hourly wage but travel time isn't included which is a strange dynamic isn't it? Yeah that's correct Um, that's typical how people are paid in home care people are paid for the time where they're with their clients and obviously they've got to travel from one place to another however in order to be accredited by the Living Wage Foundation that must include travel time as well. So we've worked really hard to ensure that we've uh, pulled together and designed a a rewards and benefits package for our staff that meets the requirements of the Living Wage Foundation. So people are paid for the time that they're traveling as well. And consequently, we are the only care provider in the Stray FM area that is currently accredited by the Living Wage Foundation. We're really proud of that. Oh, congratulations. So as, as a small business, we've joined, you know, big household names like Ikea, Aviva, Chelsea and Everton Football Club. So, um, you know, we're, we're up there with the, with the big right. guns. Yeah, you've got some good company there, haven't you? Yes. Now, of course, the, the reason that we said at the beginning 
why a company would treat its staff with all due respect and, and make them happy in work is ultimately to make sure that the service that you provide is the best. You've got another award here, double award winning in the studio today. Tell me what this other one is. Yes, this is the uh, top 10 award that we've received um, from a company, it's an online company called homecare.co.uk, which basically is the main hub. So if somebody was looking for care for their elderly parents, they would go to homecare.co.uk to see the list of care providers that are out there, what care agencies there are, what care homes are available, and they'd be able to see reviews that people have left as well. Mm. So it's almost like the trip advisor of the care world. Oh, it should be so relevant if you're looking for what to do next, wouldn't it? It's really important, actually. Yes, it's a really good website. And actually, I would recommend anybody looking for care for their, their loved one to go to homecare.co.uk to, to find out more. More. But each year, homecare.co.uk do actually do um, look at all the reviews that have been received regarding a particular care provider. And I think there was about 5,000 reviews that they sifted through and they read. Wow. And it transpired that we were in the main top 10 for North Yorkshire and, and Humber. And I presume that must be hundreds and hundreds of different care providers, if not thousands. Yeah, I think there was something like 10,000 care providers wow. across the UK. So this rewards me in the top 10 for, for Yorkshire and Humber. Um, we're just so proud of that mm. achievement. And it's a testament to the hard work and dedication that our staff do, you know, give of themselves day in, day out, that's translated into absolutely fantastic glowing reviews, which are independently verified, submitted by clients and clients families and this is now the second year that we've uh, we've been in the top 10 to get this this uh, award and you know we couldn't be prouder of, of, of our staff in, in delivering such great care a massive congratulations to you that's very you. very impressive you. how you. have you uh, have you celebrated at all has that <laughs> happened or is that yet to happen <laughs> I think we're, we're planning on taking the team out we don't know whether to do a, a spa day somewhere or, or or to go out and to be wine and dine somewhere. So oh, we'll, yeah, we'll put it to a vote. vote. We'll have to do yeah. that, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, a massive congratulations to you. So Home Instead, um, you are officially a living wage employer. This is a, an official accreditation. Yes. Um, and you are also in the top 10 awards for home care in Yorkshire and the Humber. So double award winning. Thank you so much. If people want to come and find out more about you, be that they want to work with you or be that they want to make most of your care at home, then yeah. how do they get um, in touch? They can either give us a call on 01423 774490 or if they want to know more, there's all the information they might need to know on our website, which is homeinstead.co.uk forward slash Harrogate. Fantastic. We'll put plenty of links at strayfm.com as well. Great. Andrew and Sheena, thank you very much. Thanks thank very you. much. Thank you. Home Instead on Stray FM's Health and Wellbeing Show.